Hey guys, Red here. This is one of the more serious videos I was talking about. Totally unscripted. But don't worry, I'm working on bad porn review. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek if you're watching this. Just something I wanted to get off my chest. Now, everyone's talked about Felix. Everybody has covered that topic. I don't see the point in getting into it. And uh, recent events with Milo Yiannopoulos, if you guys want, I can make a video about that. It's just... I look at these things and I just, oh, I get tired. I get so tired. You know, anyone with common sense can really easily see the problem here. I think the way that all these problems are related is uh, really telling. First things first, let's talk about Trump. Let's talk about how even though he did not get the popular vote during the election, he's somehow a populist president. Now really stop and think about that and ask yourself why that is. Hey look, now I love a tasty Trump meme, but uh, I think that both Democrats and Repu Democrat and Republican voters can see that there's a little more to it than Trump's charm that got him in the office. I think, and this is really important, that mainstream media pretty much sealed the deal for him. It didn't hurt that he was running against Clinton and all. Oh, we, could, we could go on and on about Clinton, but... I think that uh, he didn't have that tough of an opposition, but if the media covered it fairly, he probably still would have lost. But, geez, it was like every other day we had something about Trump, some inflammatory article, some crazy news story. And the media was really, really smart about how they timed this. It wasn't long towards the end until we got the grabber by the pussy fiasco. And I think you could really draw some parallels with that and what's happening to Milo right now. And if we look at this and we take it all into account, I think there's a, a lot bigger of a question at play. is What's going to happen in the next four years? Trump is not the best president. Trump is not the perfect president. I'll give him one thing. He can keep a promise. That is extremely laudable for a politician these days, especially the president. Holy shit. Isn't that just unbelievable that we live in a time where we can say, wow, he's doing what he said. I might not agree with it, but the fucker's doing what he promised. That's not something we should be saying about our president. But Trump is very much not the best president. He has already made a few quintessential mistakes. And I think that if the media doesn't shape up or get a good reform, get a good kick in the ass, maybe new media needs to be the the source that people go to now if we don't clean up corruption in media and we don't c clean up corrupt politicians we could have a four years where accountability is lost where trump can get away with just about anything and he can keep going on these rallies and he can keep and he can keep scooping up support and that is not good the people we turn to to trust on concise and fair reporting on the president and on our own government, you know, to give us insight on how to vote, they cannot be trusted now. Their favorability ratings are ridiculous. People trust the fucking president of the United States more than they trust the media. That's not healthy. Trump is more likely to get away with underhanded things now. And if he's the one painting the picture of himself, well, it's, it's easy to see where that could be a problem. But the good news is... New Media is doing a great job of uh, giving you a no-bullshit response. And if you do get bullshit, you best believe there's some other asshole on the internet you know, pointing his finger and going, Look at this. Look how wrong this idiot is. You can click over to the next thumbnail and you can gather up your information to yourself and you can decide what is the truth, what is fair and accurate, who's full of shit, who's telling it like it is. Now, your own bias will be a part of that, and you might be aligned with some ideology, but at the end of the day, you got new media sources that are fairly accurate and take pride in gathering data and statistics and trying not to give you a confirmation bias. And that's, that speaks volumes. So in the next four years, we don't have mainstream media and corporatism influencing the information we have self-made media sources that are funded by people who are not too keen on being fucked with reporting more accurately what's going on so the government will have no choice but to pander to this new 
generation. Now, how long can we go without having the internet and the new media and information and entertainment corrupted? Much like the entertainment and information industry of the mainstream is corrupted? That's anyone's guess, but they're already at the gates. They've been at the gates. And we need to be paying attention. Uh, That's just my two cents. But I'm just some dumb redneck.